So welcome back to Bitbrick Studio, everyone. Figure today we talk a little bit about a thing that I've mentioned in one of my first videos, which is to tell Bitwig a way to jump to the next clip while we are recording takes so that we end up with several takes instead of one long take. Now we could simply record one long take and then cut it and then organize it in a group and have one take that way and it has several advantages. But if you record electronic clips, say MIDI notes, this can be really useful if you already have Bitwig do all the work in slicing it up to a several bars length that you set. So before I start, this uh, demonstration will happen with the MIDI keyboard that I have in front of me. And that is simply because of technical reasons, because I cannot record uh, while using my external sound card and my uh, guitar as an audio input while simultaneously uh, screencasting this. So normally this works just the way, just the same way with audio. And uh, as I said, we'll use MIDI for this example. And what you want to do to kind of get this, we can close the timeline for now, is to go to play. And this is version 2.3 of Bitwig. And I'll get to another way, to another workaround later. We want to set something called post recording action delay. And here we can tell Bitwig what to do, record into next three slot, after how many bars, say eight bars for ease of demonstration. So this means after eight bars, it will automatically record into the next free slot, which is precisely what we want to do for takes. And then for ease of playing, we can also select the pre-roll, which simply means uh, that one bar of metronome sound will be heard before you actually get to record, which will allow you some time to set up and, and get, get set. And that should be it. Uh, I can uh, show you my stupid little sound that I made here for demonstration purposes. And that's all we need to do, uh, so let's give it a try. terrible playing I'm not a piano guy and I really ought to uh, to practice up a bit more but uh, that's not the point of this video uh, I normally pro program my MIDI notes or I record audio and so now you see we have here a clip that is eight bars long just like this and like this but they're all different in length so effectively we have recorded takes and then what I want to do, what I normally like to do with this, if I go about recording takes this way, is duplicate my original recording track and mute the original. And then select this. And you could hit Control G on a Windows PC or simply right click and say group. And now this way we have this in a group and then simply record it, uh, boop, double it, and duplicate it twice. You can doesn't really matter if you use these clips or up above. So now we would simply put them in the timeline here. And put them all underneath each other. And because they're in one group, you can already tell Bitwig has made a group clip out of them, which simply allows us to move the whole group and to always have all the clips move according to each other. And then what, what I like to do is simply to cut it short you could also cut them with a knife, though you have to beware that it then cuts your group, which is not a problem, because later we can simply fuse all the group parts together again. And I'm not going for anything specific here, I'll just go with some random chaos examples, just so you can see how this in theory would work. And delete all those. 
And then if you have some openings here, you could just kind of fill those back up. Like so. And then we can select the whole group and hit Control J to fuse them all together. So now we have effectively taken out from each several clip the notes that we didn't want and Bitwig has made one whole controllable thing out of it. So now if we hit play, part of the worst take in here of course for giggling purposes so uh, this is pretty much how we want to uh, fuse clips together and then of course you would probably go for real takes with a lot more emphasis and effort than I did here but that would take too long for me uh, because of my lack and skills and piano so this is pretty much the first way we want to do this and this applies to Bitwig 2.3 now I'm not 100% sure but I think that Bitwig and earlier versions, uh, point one point X, didn't really have this feature here. And co correct me if I'm wrong, because then the next workaround is kind of uh, redundant. But I think it this always it didn't always have this included in Bitwig. So for now, we turn this off again, which also means this is off by default. So we pretend we don't have this. We can also uh, get rid of the pre pre roll here just so we really see what we're doing and don't get confused by the pre-roll. So you can, can delete those clips. Uh, and then an easy workaround we want to do, well, if we record it in here now, it will just keep going and going and going because we uh, have not set any specific uh, instructions to Bitwig what it should do. So it just records this until forever. And we could of course use our very long clip then and cut it up into several parts and put these underneath each other into the group like we did before. But if we want to kind of go about it the same way as we have done earlier, there is a nice workaround we can use that works rather well, which requires you to send in uh, to enter an empty clip. So I just double clicked here and we have this empty clip. Now with this empty clip, you have something called next action, which is rather similar to the other one, uh, to the other setting we explored earlier. So we set this to eight bars and set, tell a bit what to do after those eight bars have run out. So we would hit play next. You can do all sorts of crazy things, especially if you have several awesome clips in here and you want to do your arrangement you could just hit play random and it was ju would just randomize your clips being played, which is just awesome. But uh, for now, let's, I try to keep on focus here and on, on, on topic. What we want to do is to make sure that the clip we are about to launch is of the same length as our uh, action that we have defined. So we could either pull this long here, you know, to eight bars, or we could simply do that uh, mathematically here, if you will like so, eight bars length. And as you can see, it's eight bars long now, but there's nothing in it, which is the prerequisite for this method to work. So now we just duplicate this. I can get rid of our timeline for now. Make sure you have enough clips available, empty clips available for however many takes you would like to record. And then, uh, Sometimes the pre-roll gets in the way. So I turned this off for now. I turned the pre-roll off for now. So if you are recording audio, uh, it always requires some time to get ready to kind of take your guitar after you click the record button and walk over to the other side of the room, sit down in your chair or whatever you need to do. Always give yourself enough time. So the easiest way is to just let the first eight bars run while you set up and then record the, the consecutive clips after it. For this to work, I think I'm pretty sure we have to enable this here, overdub record, which is this button here, which is really handy. So just make sure this is enabled. And for this time we need to hit record actually. And in a way we hacked Bitwig this way because now it uses the clips that it has with the qualities fused to them, but we simply overdub the empty clip to a clip that has some content in it. So now we just kind of go the same way here. I hit play. 
and we wait for the spark to, to run. And you can still kind of turn off your stove or, you know, tell your friend on the phone that, uh, that he'll call you back or you'll call him back. We'll just wait till this goes to the start. See nothing happens here simply because I have uh, not set the next action for some reason. I don't know. My bad, guys. Play next is, of course, what we want. Uh, you know, recording live is always something. There's always something that's not quite working. So I just kill all those notes again. Make sure this is all right before we start. Play next after eight bars. And the thing is eight bars long. Duplicate it again, and we won't need more than four clips. Overdub record on, record on, go. As you can see, it already Bitwork already tells us where it wants to go after the duration that we have set here is over. It didn't go further here because we didn't set enough empty clips. So having those empty clips with the right setting here is a prerequisite that you need for this method to work. But in this way, you could uh, make this happen. And uh, thank you, Jeff, for that question on the on one of my first videos, how I, how we would actually go about setting this up. If you still have an older Bitwig version, this will work. And if you have a newer newer version, uh, just use this this feature that we explored first. And then one last thing, if you record, you could of course also hit play ticks, which would simply make the metronome finer. And I should have probably done this so I can more easily hit on the right note, uh, on the right grid. Or of course you could hit record quantization down here, which would automatically move your notes that you input uh, to the grid. And if you enable this here, it will mean that it will cut your notes if you held the notes longer for the 16th grid that you've enabled. So this will all be nice, but it's not really the point of this video. The point of this video was to show you how to make several takes. And I hope a light bulb went off in your head and you could uh, really go wild with it now. And as I said, this works for both MIDI and audio. I just used a MIDI here for technical reasons. So thank you for you guys watching, for your time and for your energy. I know we all have a lot to do. If you have any questions, please uh, put them in the comment section below. If you have any other workaround that works even better, or if I have missed anything major here, please let me know so the others can learn as well. And if you still need Bitbrick, you will find a link uh, including 5% off in the description if you use my coupon code for ordering. And with that said, I wish you a great day. Have a nice time tweaking around in Bitwig and see you next time. Bye bye.